That's the fuse board there. Right, so there I've got all my circuits, different circuits taped together. This was pushed through there, so I've just pulled it out and look, camouflage. <laughs> oh my days. So, hi there, uh, that was the spark here again. Um, I've come to install a new fuse board. What they, in this property, I think someone done a CIR, CIR, EICR, sorry, and um, they highlighted the fuse board. There was a, one of the MCBs, the RCD has gone. So they highlight either fit a new board or a new RCD. I came and have a look at it and I thought, it's an RCD, I, I don't, I've never known the make. So I said to the guy, you're probably better off fitting a new fuse board it's a rented property, fit in a new fuse board and get rid of the split and just put RCBOs in. Because that make a fuse board, um, I don't know. And if you put another RCD in, it may go, or the other one may go. So just forget it, take that out, put a good fuse board in, put RCBOs in, and that's your troubles over. So he said, okay, yeah, go ahead with it. So I'm gonna go in there and um, get on with it, okay? Well, that's the fuse board there. I've never come across that before, <laughs> that fuse board. But yeah, one of those, it's a split board, one of the RCDs have gone. Um, can't remember which one the guy said, but I came here. Yeah. It's a bit of an awkward position because I'm at the bottom of the stairs. So I've got to set up my lad. That's the stairs going into the flat. And that's the fuse board there, so I've got to set up my feet. Set up my ladder here, it's a bit awkward. It's got a nice late switch up there, which is good. You can always just turn it off to work with it. So that's a good good look. But look look at this, yeah. This um pendant. Right. Must be must have been hanging down too low. So they've brought it over there. Hooked it over there to this position. <laughs> right. Uh, there's the fuse board, I put, put the grommet strip around it. Yeah, you can see that. That took me a while actually. I used to have this see-through grommet strip, it used to go on easy. But this went, was hard to go on, but it's nice and tight. It's not loose, so they won't be going nowhere. So, there's my fuse board now. I've just got to switch off the power and um, start sorting out the circuits now. See this light fitting? See my way keeps hitting me because <laughs> there ain't much distance between that and that. So when I got the ladder, it's right on the back of my head. It's really annoying. <laughs> I might take it out actually. We yeah, have set up a temporary lead for the clients so they can keep their Wi-Fi on. They have disconnected all my turned the power off from the switch out there. Disconnected all my cables marked them so I know which circuit is which yeah so now I'm going to take down this fuse board and hopefully be able to um get my one in oh man I'm not so sure the way these cables come in mm, a bit worried the way those cables come in but let's see right so there we are that's all my cables out I don't know they use that them long screws a bit and look Use that one with the um, funny head. <laughs> uh, problem to get it out. I had to get my drill and my bits to get them to get this out, mate. Yep. So I think wood is in there, but it's that deep. See that screw? Yeah, wood is in there somewhere, but it's that deep. Will it match up to the holes that I've got? Hopefully. <laughs> They use one ordinary screw. I don't know. Right, no, that wasn't it. Okay, cool. So I have to get my arm. Yeah. Yep. To get my bits out, I'd use these ones. Just use that one and that one, actually. Okay, get all the bits out close. Right, so they have got all my circuits, different circuits taped together. Ones that are going to go on that side. What I've started with, you've got the mains and I've got all the ring mains to, 
on the there and then I've got all the lighting and smoke detectors on this side. Got to get this out. Just hope my holes, my fuse balls match up because this cable here is quite short. All oh, right, that's going to be a problem actually, because look, the earths are over there. So that I'm going to have to join. I think that's a 16 mil. There's no slack on it. Right. Should always leave a bit of slack on your cable. Right, so um, I don't know if that's the additional for this because this looks like a 10 mil. This looks like 10, no, sorry, that looks like 16 mil. And this, what is this? This 10 mil, what would, 16 mil, what would you have for Earth? Six mil, is it, or something like that? I can't remember. Anyway, so they might have run that, run that in as extra, I'll find out anyway. So that's it there, because I'm sure that when I get it up, when I put it up, it, I'll have to take it down again to get my fixings properly. Okay, we'll see. Right, so there you are. I've got my cables in. Just these, that's, that's okay, that's fine. That there, that's short. That's short, so. And you can't have a, and when you do these fuse boards, it's always something that's wrong because if I'd have got a crab tree, the switch would have been on this side and then these would have been short. So it's all good. Just get on with it. Well, there we are. It's not completed because I got a little problem. Look, see that? And that, that's the main earth. And I think this is probably the main earth as well. I need to go and get some 10 mil and some 6 mil to join them with proper crimps. I just didn't done that because I need to get the power back on for the people. And um, yep, so I'm gonna go away, get some 6 mil, get some 10 mil and do it properly. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got the right fuse board now, see? That's, <coughs> that's the buzz bar I wanted, not the ones that dropped out. Okay. Cool. So, all uh, right, so I'm, here's my, that's my main isolator for that, for that flat. This one for flat B. <laughs> Look how they bought the tails round. Look. Just, <laughs> uh, it's, but I mean, shouldn't you do it a bit better than that? A bit neater. Look, it's all, look, it's all loose. This is in the hallway and it's not that high. Surely that should be done a bit better. Some sort of tie them together, push them back over there out the way, or you know, some sort of dressing it up better, or even put a cupboard around it. Anyway, it's not my problem. Uh, there's the main earth terminal. I've got onto the main earth. Look, it's a PME system, goes into the side where the neutral is. So I'm going to measure my ZS, ZD, my ZD now. Okay, so here we go. Got it all set. No point, no point five. Okay, that's all good. So now I'm going to do my KA between uh, phase and earth. See what I get. Now after now I'm gonna I'm gonna do um phase to neutral. So that's three point four K A. Three point twelve. Okay. So I'll put the high reading down. And now I've got to do KA at the fuse board because yeah, I've done it at the origin, but I notice on the Nikki form, there's a part just below the circuits where, it's arc, where it asks for the KA at the fuse board. So I'm going to do it at the fuse board as well. Just one thing, just, you see here, you've got, a, it says 100 amp. Well, I'm assuming there's a 100 amp fuse in there, and then you've got 60, this one says 60 to 80, yeah? So this one here, uh, 
I think that's that comes here. I think that's my one. But if that's a 60 amp, that's a 60 amp. I've just checked that fuse in there. That's 60 amp, yeah? But if that is a 60 amp, because most time you take out these fuses, it's always 60 amp. Even these ones. So that could well be a 100 amp. But if that's a 60 amp and that's a 60 amp, that don't make a lot of sense, does it? Because don't you need discrimination? Because if there's a fault in there, you want this one to go rather than this one. But if they're both rated at the same, will this one go first? Who oh, no, knows? I don't know. I just thought maybe this should be 45 amp. If that's 60, if that's 80, okay, cool. Then you have a 60 here. But if that's 60, Shouldn't this be 45? Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'll ask my Nicky inspector, he could tell me. So right, now I'm going to through crimp it. Through crimp my earth. That's a 6 mil, that's a 16 mil. So, <coughs> I was going to use those yellow, th um, yellow through crimps where you crimp it, you crimp it with a crimper. Got my, got my crimper here. Yeah. But I've decided I'm going to use these, these here. These are six mil connectors. Uh, they don't do through crimps, sort of Wago style for six mil. As far as I know, these are the only type they do. So I'm going to use this because I think these are better. Sometimes those crimps, you have to make sure you get them done properly. I've seen where they come loose, but I think these are, these are better. I'll just use these. For the six mil, there. Um, I've got my. I'm gonna have to crimp the ten mil. I've got my ten mil crimps here. See, it? see them crimps there. They're for ten. Those are for sixteen mil. Sorry, yeah, those are for sixteen. That smaller one, that's for ten mil. But I don't need. I don't need ten mil. Small ones for ten mil. Longer ones for sixteen. See how it goes. So there's my joint. Look, yeah. I'm going to put some um, heat shrink sleeving over it now just to cover that joint. Okay. All right, there's the finished job. That's my um, heat shrink on it. Okay. That's all good. Right. They've got a ring here for the quick kitchen appliances. That's at 32 amp. But the previous, um, the guy who done the EICR, he couldn't get, I think he couldn't get a ZS because I don't think he took any of these things go. out. The fridge you can't get out and I suppose the socket behind it, the washing machine's a bit hard, but you know, the cooker's easy to get, the oven's easy to get out. So I've took it out and this is what I've found. Now, <laughs> They've, they had the, that's the blank plate for that. That was on there. That's the blank plate. Now this is, a, and they just dropped down there, so it's not a big problem that. But these are only, I don't know, I don't even know if it's 1.5 flex, it probably is, or 0.75 flex, 1.5 flex, one lip. So that should be, this should be a plug. This should be a plug. Um, and um, yeah, this should be a pet plug and then you just plug them in. You can't go straight direct like that on a 32 amp fuse because it doesn't protect this cable, as far as I know, yeah. You could, so you could probably lower the fuse to 16 amp and that might do it. But I'm not sure if this is 1.5 flex or, or 0.75 flex best thing is to put two sockets there and plug them in. That would be the best thing to do. Okay. All right. The old, the old Sparky who done this job. <laughs> I don't think he checked many of these accessories because you can, you can tell because you see how, like when you take these, when you take these off the seal of where the painting is broken and all the sockets, I've seen, 
I see one socket where it may have been broken, but I couldn't tell for sure, but they're all sealed like this. So I don't think he checked many of um, these things for connections and that. But um, there's a socket upstairs in the kitchen. One side's not working, but that's not his fault. I was just lucky that I put my tester in, because you don't usually test both sides of the socket, do you? So I, I, I'm just lucky that I put it in the one side of the socket. What first I done with my socket and C, I'll show you actually, that one there with the X on it. Yeah, um, first I done it with my socket and C. And when I put it in, it came, the two green lights came on, but the, the red light sort of made a flash. So I sort of ignored it. Thought maybe I didn't push it in properly. But when I done the ZS on it, I plugged it in there and no reading. But on the other side, <coughs> there's a good reading. So I just put an X on that. I uh, told the people not to use it. You can use that side, but not that side. And I'll tell the landlord, see what wants done. I'm sure he's going to want to change it. But I'm only here to do the fuse board. So I was just checking that my circuits are all cool. So that's all good. Right. I'm in the basement now. Well, not basement. This is a little cellar. Look, um, what I didn't realise, this is where I am. I'm at. That's the property there. Yeah, you got basement flat, ground floor. I think that might be the ground floor, but anyway, ground floor, first floor, up the top there. I'm working at the top. Um, and I've just come down here to check the bonding. Because on the EICR that the guy done, he said he couldn't confirm the um, bonding to the gas or water, I think. But the water is plastic. See this one, this is for the ground floor one. But look here, it's black plastic. See that there? That's plastic. So you don't need to worry about the bonding for the water. It's bonded anyway. You can see what they've done here. They've brought two 16 mils down, <laughs> one gone there, then they've gone across all the pipes to here. It's old fashioned type of thing, but it's all good. It's all good. Right, so, and there's the pipes going up. This might, this might have been the original one and they've cut that off, I don't know. But so um, I've got my wonder lead. I'm going to go back up now and see what sort of reading I get. Because it should be um, 0 0.05 or something like that, shouldn't it? Yeah, should be. But I don't know which one it is, which um, I don't know. Because, look, you've got a number of earths there going into there. I don't know which one it is. Well, there's two 16s, it's got to be one of them. Three, no, three 16s actually. So I'll see what I get anyway. I'm getting 0 0.01. However, as you can see, I've got it connected to the earth block. So it's picking up all the earths. So I'm gonna have to disconnect it and check each of those 16 mils. No, this, right, I know this one comes from the main, it's one of these two. That one or that one. So I'm going to check, see what we can get each of them. Uh, look at this, right? Now, remember I showed you there's a cable connected in here? One in there, that, that 16 mil. And this was pushed through there. So I've just pulled it out and look, camouflage. <laughs> oh my days. So it's got to be that one. It's got to be that one, I'm thinking. So let's check it and see. Right, that's what I'm getting there, reading. Right, that's the reading I'm getting, no point. It was no point, it's got no point zero zero, but it came up no point one. I'm gonna put no point one. And that's to that earth there. Right, that one there. So that must be one of the 16 mils go, that's going down. Where the other one goes. Maybe that's the one they've cut off. <laughs> Cause there's two 16 mils. Uh, one on the first pipe, then they link across, link across, then there's another 16 mil going up. So anyway, it's, I've confirmed bonding to the gas. Water doesn't need to be bonded, so that's all good. Right, there you are, everything completed. Right. Here it is, yep. Circuit chart up there. Everything go. Operation manual here. Operational manual. Okay, so that's it all done.